We'll just pressed up against the sponges. Now what we're going to do is fill the connector spot. So now what we want to do is seal up all of the connections so that it doesn't leak at all. PC and added a hose intake valve. The water is slowed down by running through straws and that might work. You can easily be careful because the jagged edges of the can might be sharp. Drill the actual nozzle. We're going to be using this to drill holes in each of our test caps. Perfectly smooth stream of water with no turbulence, so it almost looks like a stream of glass coming out. Drilling has problems, so we want to try and sand that off using a very high grit sandpaper. First, I'm going to sand it with four of the nozzle. There you have sides of the tube, and that there are no gaps, and they aren't moving around in there. The pieces of screen will reel out. You'll want to make sure that the straws are all packed in tightly, touching the same color, and then you'll have a minute or two to apply it to whatever needs to be glued. All right, now that our pipe nozzle to the other end cap and attach that to the pipe as well. If you're having a hard time fitting the hose nozzle into the hole, the putty holding all of our nozzle pieces connect. The flow nozzle hole is right in the center of the hole that's drilled into your end cap. Press the tape on length. The next step is the line of arc is. It almost looks like a piece of glass, but of course, if you touch it, it's by on top of the below the top of the tube. Now we're going to attach our cut through one of your quarter inch PVC ring. This two party between 11 and 12 inches long. Straighten it out. We also want to make sure that the entire opening is full of straws, so keep putting them in. Later when we see some air bubbles are getting trapped underneath the screen and even down on empty a can of so a little work, you should be able to fit the test cap into the end of the pipe. The last step is mixed. We're gonna take half of it and use it on the outside and half of it on the inside of our hose nozzle. We're only going to need a piece about a foot long so the gap is closed. Using a knife or scissors, remove the excess screen but leave a small border around. First, I'm just gonna cut this in half so it's a little more. One of the main indicators that you have a good laminar flow is that you slow the water down so that the straws can do their job of straightening all the water a little bit by using some sandpaper. We want to figure out how much we need to cut off in order to fit the entire ring in some sponges and it's then straightened out by running through some rising up. You can see just look how smooth this water is. Good. Let's seal this thing up and make all of the connections permanent. All right, as an update, we've now today is to learn how to build our own laminar flow nozzle without breaking the bank. Here's the supplies we're going to need. I'm going to use a lot of water coming out. Hey guys, just jumping in here for a second to let you know that King of Random Dead Fly. And low. The clouds did part. And the that is not laminar flow. Our water was seeping out the edges and the hose claws. Some screen door mesh, some scouring pads, and a can of soda. Let's start with only about a quarter of an inch. This second ring, you only want to have about one inch piece of aluminum is going. That's a higher pressure. It's still going pretty well. There is a little upon them. Really confusing their shot. Gonna take our three sponge. 5 8 inch drill bit. Drill through the top board and the layer of metal beneath it and press them inside the tube, leaving about an inch and a half at the pushing the boundaries of our bubble and expanding as well. And while we're in this transition phase, I just want to thank you. Being careful to really see right through it. I'm going to try turning up the pressure just a little bit way to the end. Look at how the water did is now dry and we're going to sand it just a little. Trim the excess so you have about a one inch border around the hole you drill. With the going to cut off three rings. Okay, you can already see this is working pretty well. Look at this little lens, which means that when it exits a nozzle, it has a perfectly smooth stream. So the purpose of the video draws. So I'm just going to tip it, try and get those air bubbles while the putty is curing on the hose nozzle, we're going to use a little bit for all you're doing to support us. Saw, it works pretty well at low pressure. Direction with no turbulent end cap down into the... Trying to troubleshoot your laminar flow device because you're not getting a nice smooth flow out in the scouring pads. If any of your straws go in sideways, make sure you use the nozzle. This first ring you want to push almost all the way down to the straws, leaving a gap of electrical tape to the flow nozzle. But before we secure it on, flip it over and line it up to make sure that... Now move. It then exits through a perfectly the whole tube with prepped and prepared all of our parts and it's time to start assembling our laminar flow nozzle. First we want you can see through it almost perfectly because there's no disturbance to it. 
you can see a round, super smooth hole, all of which gives us a perfect. one of the quarter inch PVC rings you've cut, trace out the inside so that the water will flow smoothly. If it will help prevent any turbulence from building up in the space between the straws and the end of the nozzle. Strong, waterproof, and holds up under pressure. Just mix the two parts together until you have a uniform oozing out all over as I squeeze this cap down on it. It's just like a drinking fountain with a lot. Inside our PVC tube. Two more layers of this. This is all sealed. Here we go, our working laminar flow nozzle. You can see we want to use a drill bit that's the same size as the narrow end of the threads. That way it will have the coffee stirrer straws, test caps, we soda and rinse it out well. Under the pipe. Flow nozzle. Laminar flow refers to when water is traveling all in exactly one direction up and ready to go, but before we hook it up to the hose again, you know here a little less consistent. I have plans for the future to look into what I can do to make it so that we have more consistent. Laminar flow nozzle is now ready for a test fire before we make all of the connections permanent. Okay, so we're extremely smooth. It's hard to spend too much time on this. If you can put more of it on the top of the cap to hold that onto the device. Or we'll be posting links to where you can get your own. A little bit of space after the straws, and we want to make sure we'll ring it once. Lower it and the screen down until it's a giant fly. Now it's feeling pretty smooth. I'm going to try. I'm going to turn off the water, and I'm going to. When the water is truly moving with a laminar flow, it's amazing how clear. Progression is uncomfortable, and it's okay to feel awkward sometimes because it means you're pushing the boundaries. From the PVC tube, each one about one quarter inch wide to be your nozzle where the water comes out. Here's where we're going to use that hole you've drilled into the cap. You can expand it a little, gather, and come out. All right, guys, quick update. We have now cut. Once you finish drilling, undo the screws and remove your sheet of aluminum. We're going to hook our laminar flow device up, and I feel even the slightest divot or burr or scratch in the aluminum nozzle, then that's good. There are no exposed edges. Now that our flow nozzle is attached, we have a nozzle that attaches to a standard garden hose, some epoxy putty, coffee stirrer straw. All of your straws are pointing the same direction. PVC rings with a little bit of extra putty. Make sure that the gaps are real. T-shirts are coming back. By your... You'll want to make sure... Screens held in by the PVC rings, which should help prevent the water from building up any turbulence before it leaves. Tested this, and after a little bit of additional sanding on the nozzle to make it extra smooth, let's do a quick recap of the build. We took a piece of PVC... And I'm going to turn the water off, put the cap back on, and then see how this is flowing out. Little stream, it's a... It's just this... Your screws go through your sheet of metal. This is the king of random. We like to decorate. Other two, where to cut? You can use PVC or 5 8 inch drill bit. Using this for this project today, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. There's everywhere. A couple of tips if you're trying. Quarter inch drill bit. You can see right through it, it looks really good. By screwing into the metal sheet, you should prevent any movement and get a nice clean cut. A... Start building. This piece of PVC I have is a little too long. We're... Look how clean this hole build your very own laminar flow nozzle without breaking the bank. We are hoping that we can revisit this. All right, once again, pressure and maybe some fancy things pipe. There you have it, our coffee stirring. And now we measure for the main section of tube, which should be between. Place the screen over the tube and then squeeze the ring together so that more. Feeling all the way around that, that's feel Using a knife or a pair of scissors, cut the top and bottom off of your soda can. At higher pressure, the stream does start to get a little bit wonky. And I know one of our ABS, we have two of these enough that you have a little bit of a border around each of your PVC rings. A nice tight fit you need for this build. We have the four inch diameter plastic tubing, you a little bit to clean up the edges. Now that we've cut our pipe to the reasons for that, is higher pressure, especially out of a garden hose, is a nice clear jet. It's working pretty well. You probably have the circle onto three of the scouring pads. To prevent any turbulence from building up in the dead space after the straws in the tube, remove the cap because we want to see the water as it's 100 grit sandpaper and then with some triple lot steel wool. Bit.
like putting lights into the stream of water. Thanks for joining us. Sun did smile down. Get that over our pipe. Use your first cut ring as a guide to mark on the other. Sandwich your piece of aluminum between two smooth boards and screw it together tight, making sure you're on your comfort bubble. Right now, the King of Random brand is going to affect the water flow. All right, in the future, to figure out how to add a little more. Once your nozzle is attached to the end cap, press the coming out of this nozzle is still in a tight stream even when it's hitting the ground. It's probably a pretty tight fit, but with the end cap. For the pipe fitting I have, I'm using a three cap. You now know how to. Probably left a little bit of a burr on the aluminum. Poxy putty is. We have a device that will mostly get the water traveling in one smooth direction, but we have a little. To the end cap to secure it in place. Tape securely all the way around the flow nozzle so they're really well filled. That's one side attached. Now let's glue on the other one. Build. Here it gets. Check this out. To apply pressure to the whole popular demand, we're bringing them back the day after Thanksgiving, that's November 24th. Distant pressure so that at higher pressures, our stream of water will travel farther. Cut out three pieces of screen, large. All right, we've got this bad boy all done pretty well too, but I think it works better using these coffee straws. So with the sponges and the straws in place with it, you'll want to be sure that you have at least two or three of those sponges down at the bottom because they really help. So keep your eyes peeled here on YouTube and watch my other social media straws. There are a couple layers of screen mesh at the end. To and lastly, probably the most important thing is that your nozzle has to be ex You'll want an unbent piece of the can wall about three inches square. The nozzle just a little bit with some high grit sandpaper to smooth it out just a tiny bit more now. There we go, that's manageable. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Nate with The King of Random and today we're going to build a laminar flow there you have it, the laminar flow nozzle. As you see to our cap, we're going to fit. We saw that a little bit of our flow nozzle to our end cap. We'll attach a piece of sand down before we test this is to attach our hose decorated. Let's go hook it up to the hose again. And until there's no gaps left. Some people have tried building these with regular drinking. A little bit of waviness right as it's coming out of the nozzle. So one thing I'm just hide. bottom. Next we want to attach one of our screens to the ring and press that into the tube. Cut along the line and you'll have three circles made for sure that the water doesn't start picking up any turbulence. We're gonna put in that is a nice clean stream. Your water stays together as a cohesive stream all the way. Hey guys! Welcome! So today I'm going to be reacting to Cookie Girl. Yeah! And uh Let's just get right into it, okay? Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, so there's a man staring at a screen, okay. Yeah. And he's noticing there are like cookies on the table and, and little crumbs. And this is making him feel something, I guess. Uh, and the cookies, they're like, they're like all crumbled up. So I guess like someone ate them, which I think is a really not nice thing to do to someone's cookies. Uh, and they're like leaving this trail. And he thinks it's weird, I guess. He's making these faces. Okay, so he's like, he's like following the cookie trail. Like it's going to lead him somewhere probably to like the culprit oh oh it's me <laughs> oh I like I'm just I'm right there I'm in the video I was just laying there I had <laughs> that's really fun that's really fun I had the cookies all along oh wow oh that was fun that was really cool okay well yeah I guess that's it well then yeah goodbye